Today we will be talking about this short Turkish bow that is called Sipahi and I'm really looking forward to make this review because this bow is so intense, so good, but not for everybody. We will of course look for technical specifications, we will look to every single detail and we will be shooting a lot. So let's start with short, very nice video made specifically for this bow. Partner of this video is vegbows.com and bogararchery.sk Look how small it is. It's so beautiful. It's so nice. String length only 110 centimeters. This is a really short bow. Brace height is 18.5 to 20.5 centimeters. Draw length is advised 30 and maximal is like 31 inches. And this exact piece is 43 pound bow so it's pretty strong for its small construction plus it does have no hand shock first thing we will test out is stationary shooting i want to show you how is it feel how is it look this bow is very accurate I would say it's mainly made to short and mid-range distance. It's really nice to shoot to a closer target and it's very precise. This bow is for the three pound and I believe it needs more experienced archer to handle this. And it gives you a feel of power and swift and focus and sort of flow. As you can see, the results are not bad at all. Right now we will shoot in movement this is something i really like this is where i feel like at home so i'm just swinging from left to right and shooting to a target as you can see i'm pretty quick and swift with this bow and it's because it has shorter draw length i can only draw to 29 30 and it shoots with full power so this is what i really like about this bow Right now you will see two things combined together what I like the most. You will see POV of my running archery style. So I'm running and shooting, I'm going from left to side, I'm jumping and shooting to my target. And this bow is very, very good. I know that not many people are doing this type of archery, but if you do, you will like this short Turkish Sipahi bow from WEG. In conclusion, this bow is really nice. It's small, so if you move while you shoot or you shoot horseback, you will like this because it's easy to handle. You are not having a longbow somewhere to fight with, so you just, you know, move and it's absolutely okay. It feels a little bit like toy, but after first shot, you know that you have a deadly weapon in your hand. And this bow is very good for shooting fast, so if you want to learn shoot fast, this bow will help you because it feels like it loves this style of archery, it wants to be fast, it wants to be deadly dangerous to your target. For long range this bow doesn't fit me as well as for example Tatar bow or Assyrian bow from Bogar Archery. So this is for let's say short mid-range shooters. Also I will recommend this bow to much more experienced archers. This is not a good bow to be your first bow. If there is a technical disadvantage of this bow, there are two things I need to mention. First is, it's a little bit harder to string. You need to develop the good technique to string this bow properly and well, because otherwise the string will be falling off this little pad in here and you can break your bow. And the second thing is that the finish is easily damaged by arrows. So the place where arrow is taking off, the bow should be protected. What I use is some sort of tape, carpet tape, gaff tape, whatever, to protect the finish. If you do not like this green color, it's okay. 
I like green because my name is Greenberg, so I love green, so I picked green. But also they have all sorts of brown, blacks and whatever you like. So don't be scared, you have to have a green bow. No, it's just my favorite color and you can have whatever you want. I will definitely keep this bow with my Assyrian. I believe it's perfect combo to shoot with. This bow helps me to develop my fast shooting skills and it's easy to handle, it's nice to shoot, it's a little bit harder because it's 43, my Assyrian is 38 and the difference is huge, you can feel it in your hands. I want to practice with this one and also with Assyrian, I love this and I'm looking forward to improving my skills with these bows. And what's the price point of this bow? Of course it's 299 euros plus free shipping to whole Europe so I believe it's a really reasonable price for amazing bow. Like this video, hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video because more reviews of these type of bows are in there. And thanks for partnership to bogararchery.sk and wakebows.com. See you soon!